hello and welcome to my loft. And this is where today's adventure begins. It's always up a metal ladder. And sadly, my co-host Lucy the cat died two weeks ago. So it will be much more lonely in the loft. You can see the important flap so no one falls down the hole. But it also stops the heat escaping from the house. And today, I am going to be running 20 trains, pulling 102 trucks and 163 coaches. And a quick scan round of my loft. And I would really like to say to my lovely viewers, thank you for all those kind comments that you've sent in about Lucy. You can see that I, my loft is on four different levels and I started off just on the floor and there wasn't enough space and so I had to go up. Clouds are covering up the gaps in the backing paper. I had quite a difficulty putting up the backing paper. I have recently put in some film to cut out all the UV light. This, of course, is the Deltic and I'm only running it at 60 or 70 miles an hour just to reduce the blurring you get if I'm trying to run it at up to 90 miles an hour. Probably only 50 miles an hour at the moment, or 60, with the tight corners. This is one complete revolution of my top set by the Delta. And embarrassingly, it's going the same speed as the trucks. I've slowed the trucks down now. I'd missed that one whilst been filming. Of course, this is the tornado. Shouldn't really belong in 1960, but it looks the part. Funny thing was, when I started building this train set, the Tornado, which had just passed, was the most modern loco. As you can see, I just love running long train sets. Most of these at the top are 13 or 14 coaches. If you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. I am hoping to get 4,000 hours of watches. And if I manage to do that in the next two or three months, then I will get some money on YouTube. You never know. This field is going to be turned eventually into a good wagon yard. A very noisy place to live, this town. The 
even the middle class area is very noisy. Most of my buildings are Metcalf. I don't have the building skills of other modelers for scratch built, as well as I've had to build so many, I just wouldn't have had the time. Another tiny village I built recently. Normally these trains would be moving faster at a real scale speed, but as I've said earlier, <laughs> you just see these streaks whizzing past on the film. From 1960 to 2012. Hornby Pendolinos. The Pendolinos are running on a speed track. Two two five. Going round a tight corner at 140 miles an hour. Class 37. My lighting. The original track where I built a single loop, thought it was fun, built a second one, and before I knew it, 1,400 feet of track. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you another day. Bye.